So if you're new here, I got a little cute, adorable baby husky that was absolutely insane. Like, insane. He's my second dog. I also have a year old Aussie Doodle and she spoiled me because when she was a puppy she was like super easy to train. But I had this dog since he was about 8 weeks until just about 16 weeks. Tried to potty train him the entire time and just failed miserably. He hated the kennel, just screamed the entire time. <coughs> So finally, I was like, okay, I need to figure out something because this is just not going to work out long term. I was literally like waking up every morning and cleaning up five different potty messes in my house. And yeah, it just couldn't keep happening. So I did lots of research and ended up finding this awesome place called Canine Connections where they had a four-week boarding program for puppies. They kennel train them. They teach them all like the basic commands like sit, stay, walking on a leash, socializing. Every Friday during these four weeks, I get to come in and actually just like work with the trainers and they're showing me what he's learning, like his progress, and then also giving me tips on how to train him myself. Today's my first session. I haven't seen him in five days, and oh god, I have missed him like crazy. Let's go ahead and go inside and just see what he's been up to. Oh, hi. Alright, so I am here with Andrew and he is the owner of Canine Connection and I'm gonna just like have him tell you guys a little bit about everything. Can you tell us about, like a little bit about the philosophy because I know you kind of told me about that and I was looking at different places that had e-collars and yeah, just like I really liked what you were telling me about how you guys train the dogs. Yeah, so everything that we do is positive reinforcement based. Um, we, we only use rewards and markers um, to, to help the dogs learn. We use marker words or we can or we'll use clickers um, to basically tell the dog that they've done the thing that we want them to do. Uh, we give them opportunities to earn um, treats, food, praise, affection, toys, you know, whatever their primary motivator is, that's what we use um, to train the dogs. Um, Leo is very big into his food, so, <laughs> so that makes him really easy to work with um but yeah and we have we have a full open door philosophy like this wall just right up here like that's my training room right there so anybody who comes in can always see what a training session looks like they can see that we're not mistreating the dogs they can see that um that everything we do is is positive um and the dogs are given the opportunity to earn their rewards rather than um, rather than not comply with what we want and then get um, some kind of uh, punishment or correction um, through an e collar or a prong collar or a choke chain, which is ultimately going to um, damage the dog's uh, psychological well being. And nobody wants that. I don't, I don't want to work with little robots who are acting out of compliance. I want to see happy, confident dogs who are willing to please. Um, rather than dogs that are acting out of fear and um, uh, fear of, of being punished or, um, or, or getting a harsh correction. No, that's awesome. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Can I ask you about Leo? Absolutely. I love Leo. <laughs> you love Leo? Do you love his screaming? I, uh, it's growing on me. I hope he doesn't get kicked out. I told you that before. <laughs> he's not going to get kicked out. He's doing just fine. Like Aww. everything with him. He's the sweetest little guy. He's. He's very smart, he's very eager and willing to please. His screaming isn't that bad. I think, like I said, the, the biggest thing with Leo is that he just needs to get those physical needs and those um, mental needs met. Leo, Leo, hi, do you remember me? Hi, buddy, you actually remember me? Just spilled his water in his crib. Nice, way to go, he's so good at that. Him. Okay. Yes. So yes is the marker word that we use. Um, so, but yes is basically just to um, just to tell him you've done the thing that I want you to do. Yes. Yes. So right now with him being so small, so young. Yeah. We, you know, we we want to start with by setting him up for success. We don't want him to, we don't want him to get stressed out. We don't want him to get frustrated. We can do the hand signal. Yeah. 
So we've got sit. Sit. Floor. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. And then flip your hand over. Down. Down. All the way. Come on. Down. So we're going to want to give them the cue one time. Okay. If we give the cue too many times, um, they learn to wait for those that cue three, four, five times. That's why when you have a dog that's sit, 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 and then sits on that fifth time. We basically spent the rest of the training session training me on how to train Leo using the hand command, voice command, and just basics of dog training. Leo did awesome, even for just being only there five days so far. Every time we bring him out of the kennel, every time we bring him out of his crate, we are um, taking him out to go potty. All right, away. Um, we're staying out with him until he goes, and then we are rewarding him for going, um, just to build that, um, just to build that up with him. Nice, Leo, come say hi. I don't get to see you for a whole week, buddy. Here's Mama. Hi. The next few weeks went by a little quicker, even though I missed Leo, I was really happy to see him enjoying his training, learning how to be a better dog, and just knowing that he was in a safe place that he was actually loving. I went back for session two and three and we worked on a little bit harder commands, I got to be a little bit more hands on. We worked on stay, place, come, things like that, and at this point I was just really excited to see Leo's progress. So this is his place? And you can see when there's distractions, he kind of wiggles a little more. Yeah. Hey, come here. And they're like hesitant at first, and he's like, sure. Aww. Whatever. Or if they are confident, then when it's loud like that, they're like, oh, it's going to be. <laughs> All right, so show he her that you can sit. He likes her to Aww. And he can hold the position, even if I walk away. I mean, if I tempted to fade again, that's the last time. <laughs> And so Leo's four-week training program at Canine Connection ended. I was honestly really bummed to take him away just because I could see how much he loved and the trainers Good loved boy. him. But I threw him in the car and we went home. Buddy, you excited to see Bliss? Let's go see Bliss. Ready? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You guys remember each other? Oh, did you guys miss each other? Hi, Bliss. So the reason I decided to do this video was because I know that I was really nervous when thinking about enrolling Leo in a training program and I wasn't really sure what would happen or how the facility would be, but I had the best experience at Canine Connection, so I just wanted to share that. The trainers were awesome. Um, before I went, they took me on like a whole tour of where Leo would be staying and playing. These are the kennels that he stayed at. They also have different sizes for larger dogs, even like extra extra large dogs. In the back they also have a play area where Leo would get to go out multiple times a day and play with other dogs his size. This would help socialize him and he loved it. But the biggest difference to me was how well he was taken care of. Anytime we go back there he goes crazy to see everyone and they all miss and love him as well. So if you're thinking about putting your dog in a training program I would highly recommend it. It'll be so worth it for both you and your dog.